Joining us now is Democratic Senator Michael Bennett of Colorado. Last week, he introduced a bill that would create a task force to look at U.S. policies on artificial intelligence. And Senator, thank you so much for being here. Look, we had Steve Wozniak on yesterday, the co-founder of Apple, who is really warning against some of the dangers of AI. And he said to us, there needs to be regulation. What do you think realistically will be done in Washington, if anything? Well, I completely agree that we need regulation. We have not regulated at all the social media, the massive social media platforms in this country. That has huge implications for uh, antitrust, for example, but also for our kids' mental health. I used mm -hmm. to be the superintendent of the Denver Public Schools. We are having an epidemic of adolescent mental health issues in America today. I'm not saying that's all social media's responsibility, but a huge piece of that is, and they've gone completely unregulated here. We need to have an agency in this country, like the FDA, like the FCC, to negotiate on behalf of the American people, and that's why I introduced the first bill in Congress to, mm -hmm. to create uh, a new agency that could do that. I read through it, and you talk about also having a task force, real a real focus on this. Can you talk about what you think should be done specifically in your opinion? A lot of people have been talking about something like a watermark. So at least we know that, hey, that you know Republican ad after Biden announced wasn't made by humans. It was made by AI. Well, yeah. Yeah, well, Poppy, one thing I know is that I will be dead before Congress regulates this stuff in a way that's thoughtful and in a way that addresses the issues that we're facing. And that's why I think having an, an agency with experts in it, yeah. like, again, like the Food and Drug Administration. But let me just give you an example. Our kids are being tortured by these algorithms that the big social media companies design to sell us and to sell them advertising to addict our kids to these social media platforms. That is something that the American people never consented to. Our kids never consented to it. Uh, and, and, and moreover, I think the American people have never consented to the economic relationship they have with you know, the likes of Mark Zuckerberg or, and other people. So, and, the, and, and the kids in my old school district, they think their parents who are working don't have the time to negotiate with the big media companies and social media companies, and they're, they can't rely on their student council to do it. So unfortunately, that actually means the member of Congress need to get their act together here and pass a bill that says that we're gonna stand up and regulate this for the American people, just I as we did for pharmaceuticals. I hear you on social media. I'm incredibly concerned about it for our kids, but on AI, right, and this newest proposal by you, it I was just going to ask it what just, specifically you think could help the most right now, because we are on the brink of something extraordinary, yeah. but also frightening. It just adds, I think it just adds a new dimension here, which is now we've got the social media being driven by machine learning and generative AI. And, and when you write to the uh, big uh, social media companies, it's the same folks that are pursuing the, mm -hmm. this AI, uh, and they write back saying, you know, we've got it covered, or maybe, or we don't really know. It just raises these questions. Mm -hmm. And I think in the end, things like watermarks that you suggested, yep. understanding when AI is being used, making sure that in the federal government, where we, when mm -hmm. we're using AI, that we're using it in a way that's consistent with our civil liberties, with our civil rights, mm -hmm. and with our privacy rights, none of that stuff has been thought through. So I don't think we should panic. You know, there's good and there's bad that's going to come from this, uh -huh. but I think we should have a thoughtful approach and a, an approach that's yeah. different than the way we've managed the social uh -huh. media stuff until this moment. I know you wrote some of those letters to Senator Pshai, the CEO of Google, uh, also Satya Nadella, the head of Microsoft. They're going to be at the White House this week, so we'll see what comes of that. I do want to turn, because you're on the uh, Intelligence Committee, I do want to turn to this breaking news out of the Kremlin, the Kremlin Press Service. Uh, said there were these drones and attempted, in their words, an attempt on the president's life and a terrorist act. They're talking about Ukraine, in their words, which we should take with a grain of salt, attempting uh, to take President Putin's life. What is your reaction to that? And do you think it's a yeah. pretext for what Russia may want to do next? I had not seen it before I got here, but I think you're completely right to not take the Kremlin or Putin at their words. It's been an amazing thing to be on the U.S. Intelligence Committee during this time to see the 
the fundamental mistakes that Putin has made because he sits on top of a totalitarian organization that won't tell him the truth about the quality of his army or, or the way the Ukrainians would respond. And then to see, at a time when we've all worried about whether democracy is fragile in this world, to see free people in countries all over the world demand of their elected officials do more, do more, do more to stand with the Ukrainian people, to support the brave Ukrainian people in a fight that's not just a fight for Ukraine, but a fight for democracy and a fight for freedom. And today is no different than any other day in that fight, as far as I'm concerned. Senator Michael Bennett, thank you very much for your time this morning. Thanks, Poppy. Caitlin.